Hi guys, I am getting an island in my kitchen today and I just quickly wanted to show you the before of what my kitchen looks like. So we getting the door again for there and then fixing those, the wheel thingy, the wheel system there. And then also changing that up to fit with the rest of the kitchen. Um, that was installed like quick, quick because um, I'm a baker so I needed to use it and couldn't wait and stuff so hubby did it for me but then now we're just going to make it all uniform and then in this space here let me just go back a bit in this space here um, I'm getting an, uh, uh, an island installed that is exciting because it'll make my life a lot easier so we haven't really been working on like the kitchen or this house in a while we haven't been working on it and the reason for that was I've always said no I want um Thingy, the my kitchen to be changed to white and stuff but then um hubby <laughs> gave me a wake up call in the sense that okay let me face you yeah guys so um what 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 hubby reminded me is of our blessing like the blessing that we have to have a home at such a young age and not everyone can afford to have a home um, yes you don't like the kitchen the color scheme of the kitchen and stuff but make it work like work with what you have now and when you get to a stage where you in a position to do better then change it up to what you would like and um, but make it functional now make it comfortable now because this is where God has placed you so yeah I listened guys so I basically I am making do with what I have now enjoying the now but still pushing for better pushing for what i like envision and want and all of that so yeah that's where i'm at now so i'm getting the island and it's going to make the space very functional it's going to make my house beautiful and i'm very functional too hello <laughs> okay Hi guys, excuse. <laughs> also, having a husband room 90, guys, it's 8 a.m. at the moment, and um, hubby's already gone to a, to the warehouse to get um, stuff that they, the guys are going to need, um, like screws and hinges and 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 if began echo i was supposed to do that like guys i'm so blessed <laughs> i am so blessed okay so yeah i'm making do with what i have now making it comfortable beautiful and functional and that is me embracing the blessing that god has bestowed upon our lives we push so hard we push so much to achieve our dreams and goals and um we our minds and just our lives we get so clouded with that um you forget to enjoy the now you forget to embrace the now you get you forget to appreciate god for the blessings that he's bestowed upon your life now so um yeah i'm unlearning that as well like it's good to push guys push but then also enjoy where you are now and that is enjoy the friends you have enjoy the family you have enjoy the life you have enjoy the stage of life that you're in at the moment like and i think that also is appreciation to god or appreciation for your family and friends and just yeah guys like enjoy life now and still push like it's good to have um ambition and um being driven and all that but don't forget the now so that's what I've I'm unlearning and um yeah so I'm excited about the um, island it's going to make my life so easy and I should have gotten it so long ago 
but we're here now and yeah so I'll take you through the journey and shop guys I really wanna tell you what you mean to me but I'm afraid our story would end why are all your dreams against reality when you're falling in love with a Just came out and told you you're my everything They would never be the same Baby, with the love we found We're going to hear the story coming along Or maybe we just got to Clap it to peace Peace, clap it to peace how far the installation of the stove has come and then the chains still need to insert like uh, cover ups for the sides and the bottom there otherwise it's coming on nicely I'm just feeling exhausted from all of this it's been weeks now but it's coming on not weeks yeah it's just been yeah just over a week and yeah I'm, I'm over it I'm over it um, it's a Saturday today, so they said they'd come tomorrow to finish things off and then they also um, were able to not, okay, no, they were not able to, but then they still need to fit drawers there as well and yeah, overall, so far, so good. Twice it ain't my fault, every little thing got a price, that's what I thought, that's what they taught. I'ma take my chance to lie, drop. Mm -hmm. You know this ain't the time for the two of us. Ooh, I ain't got space to be thinking about you. Oh, no doubt, I'm not thinking. Me and you, I guess it's over. It was a rainbow, but we're sinking. Lost my. It's like rain drops as they roll down the window Heavier as they fall And when the train stops There's a moment of silence when you know it's time to go And now there's no
It's like rain drops as they roll down the window Heavier as they fall And when the train stops There's a moment of silence when you know it's time to go I think I like this red one. Since you're now. Hi, how are you? Fine and you? Good, thanks. How much do you sell as a fusion for? Uh, these are 280. I didn't read that. It's okay. <laughs> Nice. So this is more. Nice, not the one. Yeah. Grab a cup. So guys, this is non-alcoholic. Yeah? Is it non-alcoholic? Yeah, nice. Non-alcoholic, and you can actually it's actually an energy drink.
and welcome back to my kitchen so it's a couple of days since Heidi and I went to Victoria Parks for just an outing on a Sunday evening Sunday afternoon after church um, that was a beautiful experience and mind you I am reporting live from chopping onion on an island <laughs> guys this like this is the facelift my kitchen needed like my kitchen needed this facelift it's so convenient my life has been so easy i'm still getting used to it because i still find myself preparing um food and stuff on the on the other counters but the island so yeah um today i am making quesadillas something very different and i decided this after i felt I'm over your cheese and ham sandwiches or bacon and eggs for brunch. I want something else, but still on a healthy tip. So what I did was, um, okay, so I've already prepared my tomatoes and I have my onion as well. I have this top class spice, guys. I used on the wedges, I'll, they're already in the oven. I will show you what they come out looking, but this is the girl <laughs> so i found out about this from Udumi and she's on youtube and she initially introduced me to the original one um which tastes a lot like the our mate actually and it's the first time i'm trying this um chili flavored seasoning and i like it so far so i have um wedge potatoes going on in the oven and then I picked, I picked up some stuff as well from pick and pay um, these wraps so six brown wraps is a albany one thing about healthy eating guys it's expensive these things are 40 rand like how and it's only six Yo. so then yeah <laughs> I got brown ones and then I got garden cheese, I got mozzarella, and then I got the star of the show being mince. So I'm going to make quesadillas with cheesy mince and ibisto as well. So I'll take you through the process and enjoy. So for the ibisto, I am going to need oil. I'm going to need oil as well as so I'm going to brown my onion basically. While that browns, I am going to brown my mince. So mince is going, I'm going to make it as basic as possible, it's just going to be, I'm basically going to brown the mince, but also just add a bit of seasoning so that it's nice and tasty. Okay, this is my brown mince. Because it's lunch dogs, I'm going to make half of this. And one thing about me, I never cook without um, garlic. Makes the food, just the process very fragrant and it's healthy as well. So. On here, I'm going to use oregano, about a teaspoon of that, and then I've ran out of my mother-in-law spice, so I'm going to use cajun, a bit of that too. I'm actually using pepper, let me get that to Always use a fox for me. I'm going to add my tomato. Anyway, I always add the stock cube, guys, and I'm using a chicken one. 
for if you spill it on me. And then to offset. Yeah. And then to offset the acidity of the onion of the tomato, I'm going to use a bit of sugar. So I'm just eyeballing it, but this is um, equivalent to like a teaspoon of sugar. So that's it. I'm really just going to wait for it to steam my nice Um I'm missing a bit of heat actually. I'm going to add pine pepper to my um, bistro. Okay, I'm going to add just a quarter of a teaspoon of pine pepper just to bring a bit of heat to the dish and then my mince is actually almost done and then my wedge potatoes are cooking in the oven this looks like it my mince is done you guys my mince is done I'm just going to leave it on the stove top still but switch off the stove and my ipistoyas i'm going to let it simmer while we wait for the tomato wedges potato wedges so i was saying um Ilox, um Victoria, Victoria Yacht was really nice. It was really nice. It was fun. Um, it's not popular as much, so there's not quite a lot of feet there. But then it's very um, architectural and it's for art lovers and music lovers. We really enjoyed ourselves, guys. We really did. Um, the food stalls, the food, the vendors, the food vendors. They could be better, but then it's understandable because it's still coming up. My brother actually introduced me to Victoria. He was like, it's just in your backyard and you've never went. Like, you must go. So we've been planning on going and we finally did. Um, the, the, the market opens the first Sunday of every month. And we had fun, guys. We had fun. I'm also enjoying my kitchen a lot. And I honestly couldn't have um, been able to do all of this and make it this pretty without my husband. So I am blessed. Like, I'm so blessed. Because, I mean, I was really just getting an island. But then he was like, just go the whole nine yards. Paint. Let's get new lighting. And, and, and. And yeah, this is the facelift that my kitchen needed and I can do away with this kitchen for I could do with this kitchen for a couple of more years coming. So yeah, I need to grate my cheese. So all of my um, ingredients have cooked. I just need to prep So um, all of my ingredients have cooked and now I just need to some these are like mini ribs you guys uh, I make an incision in the middle. Okay, and then with that, I have my mince on here. Section it nicely, man. Eh? So I'm going to do it on. Going to section it onto the other half. Yeah, so that it doesn't um spill or anything. Let's add that a bit. I am going to use my burger mayonnaise from Woolies. 
this thing is the OG so I'm going to have that on here you also have an option of having like a isawa cream or something else and then the last ingredient being my tomato gravy on there no it actually isn't the last I still need to add cheese I need a spoon there we are so spread that on nicely but then before you enjoy you're definitely going to spread it out nicely and then I have my cheese so it's a mix of gouda and mm, guys it's a mix of gouda and um thingy gouda and mozzarella so fold that half in there squeeze nicely fold it onto the other half squeeze, ah, spread nicely okay and then come on to this side so this is what my quesadilla looks like <laughs> let's make more of these um, and I'll take you in an actual shop okay guys take two so your wrap make an incision somewhere from the middle basically and then add your mince so I made more I made it more meaty but you could add like in the you could add other meats like shredded chicken and other things not gonna be perfect guys but yeah for the sauce you can add um, your favorite sauces really like sour cream and stuff like that you get me then add my tomato gravy On the, because these things are so mini, it's very hard to keep it cute. <laughs> it's rather hard to keep it cute, but then there we go. So take this half, hold it on there, squeeze a bit so that it didn't tip, and then I want to spread it a lot more. So take this other half, same thing, and then for the last part, hold it on there as well. Okay, nice ish, and that's what it looks like. Oh, I didn't add the cheese. I'll just add a lot of cheese on this one. And it's here, right in front of me. I forgot it. Here we are. So the process continues. I still need to brown these on the sides and then I'll be done. Okay guys, so now to brown the pieces of dinners on both sides. So I just put olive oil.
am done cooking. I am done cooking and now for a quick taste test. So this is my plate with the country mix I'm comprising of cauliflower, broccoli, garden peas and carrot and then potato wedges for hubby. I'm spicy potato wedges for hubby. That is let's cook. Mm, mm, wow. <laughs> The um, tomato gravy makes it that extra flavorful. It makes it so nice. Let me know if you do try it out. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for all the love, the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions as well. Um, till the next video, a vlog. Let me go eat with my honey.